Welcome to part 26 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs. Yo, yo. Alright, and now we are leaving Tatanka's home again. And... <laughs> no class, no style. Yeah, right. And this, it's taking a while to get to the, to get to heaven or wherever we need to get to. The sky people, jeez. It's just... Well, you long... gotta go through hell first. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I mean, you gotta do a lot here to, uh, in order to get to... The Sky World, uh, Sky, Skyland, whatever it's called, Mario Three. Well, it's because they they build it up a lot, so they gotta make you go jump through a lot of hoops to get to it. Yeah, that's why it usually it takes like maybe another two parts or so to make it to the next dungeon. This is like what the third part in between dungeons. So hopefully the next part or the part after that will be over the next dungeon. Yeah. But we'll see. This is like Breath of the Wild Junior. <laughs> So right now we gotta hunt down the, uh, what, what's it called, Tips? The Sky Statues? Yes, you gotta get those letters. Yeah, the artifacts from, uh, the, that's missing in, in the, in the book called Skywriting. Oh, there's one of them right there. It's the ECW rod. Alright, there we go. Come on, little doggy. Just when you thought you were done with the Dominion rod. The rest are rugged rod price. Here we go, more wrestling references. Who the hell is that? Yeah, old school uh, from the Dallas territory, the Barnary's wrestled. Rugged rod <laughs> price. He wrestled briefly. I know rugged I Ronnie mean, Garvin. I mean, briefly wrestled in ECW. Alright, so what Nick is doing right here is trying to maneuver that. Right, maneuver. maneuver! Another reference. Maneuvering that. Dominion statue, or what? You got the sky statue in order to get over. Ah, fail! Ah, oh, fail! Jeez. Well, if we get, we get the artifact for now. Yeah, each one of these has a chest with a hundred rupees in it nearby. I think. Yeah. We got one sky character. How many missing characters? I didn't one, tell two. you how many you have left. It just says other. One, two, three. According to the map, four. No, there's more than that. Ten? Jeez. Remember, this is just Hyrule Field. Oh, yeah. So I think is, is there, one, there might be one in Arbiter's Grounds. I mean, not Arbiter's Grounds. Uh, there, there's one in the desert, yeah. Mexico, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I think one in Farron, South Farron Woods. That one actually can get you something really nice. I want a heart piece, dang it. No, don't you have enough hearts? Shut up. <laughs> you gotta have the heart. Yeah. Oh, watch out, being uh, chased by trolls here. I'm trying to outrun them. All the trolls that hate Breath of the Wild. Oh, whoa! Oh. Ooh. That was close. Yeah. There's the Bridge of Elden, the part where it came loose. Those marks are there even before it breaks. Yeah. Alright, whoa, almost got shot right there. Okay, the statue's up there somewhere. For some reason, I always get a chuckle when you're running around with the rod, just... Doom, 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 doom. Huh. There it is. No, idiot. All right. He just bends down and picks up nothing. Here. Yeah. All right, so let's go to here. He took a quick nap. Yeah, go to the third artifact. And that's the artifact, Jack. Well, watch out. I feel like Indiana Jones here climbing up the... Like climbing up while they're shooting arrows at me. In that case, is Akko short round? Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Heart piece, come Sorry, on. Sorry, Jeff. Big bucks, big bucks, and yes, there you go. stop. Yeah. I'm, I'm Michael Larson oh, here. 
That's right. Maybe he'll have another one by the end of this video. Maybe not. I guess you have to keep watching. Yeah. Alright, let's go back to Hyrule Castle Town for the tenth time. I wonder how that feels, all your molecules being broken down. Right? And pray they get put back together in the right order. Yeah. I did see like a parody video or a parody commercial of an 80s, uh, maybe 80s uh, drink commercial where they drink something, they all like um, turn to fireballs and fly around, then they fuse together, but they're all deformed looking because they didn't fuse right. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm try, God, I lost count already, that's sad. Is this the fourth artifact? Yes. No, second. No, wait. I don't know. <laughs> well, keep count. You can't do it right. You suck. Oh, ouch. She got clubbed in the back of the head. He's gone clubbing. they use this amphitheater for? Probably, uh, gladiator battles. Yep. Welcome to Howl Gladiators. I'm M Mike Adam Lee. <laughs> My name is Link, and tonight I unleash hell! <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, for the fourth or fifth artifact, still lost count. <laughs> You'll know when we know. Link's like, yeah, whatever. Wow, still got another one to go. Yeah, that's right. One in uh, the desert land and then uh, South Fern Woods. Desert land? Is this Mario 3? Right, yeah. Uh, first it says Skyland, then desert land. Next is Woodland. There was a place called... <laughs> there, the wood, I think, Link uh, likes Woodland. Yeah, Woodland. You gotta go there in the morning. <laughs> See, he cares more about the money than the actual quest. Yeah, right. <laughs> Greedy. Link turns heel. It's like Hogan. I did everything for the money, brother. <laughs> Link joins the HWO High World World Order. He actually joins. No, he's actually more evil than Ganon. I did it for the Rock. Yeah. I, I did have a Nintendo uh, comic book. It's like a collection of different series. Of comics, Punch Out comic, uh, short comics, of Zelda, Punch Out, I think Mario, and the Zelda one. Link actually turns heel because he's, uh, he, I think, gets corrupted by the Triforce of Power. Hmm. I mean, he turns back to good again. I think Zelda helped him snap out of it, but yeah, it's like he was evil. He was well, like, you're turning into Ganon. Excuse me. Yeah, and his face like looked like Ganon too, like a pig face. And it's like you turn, you're turning into Ganon. Right, back in Mexico now. Well, that's what happens when you don't get any. Yeah. Alright, back in Mexico now, and uh, I guess Trump hasn't <laughs> built the wall yet. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> the Arbiter's Grounds of World. No, I'm not even going there. <laughs> I'm not. Because that is grounds for dismissal. SC2K, where gamers are politically correct. Yeah, right. If I stop myself in my tracks, you know what was bad. Yeah. Alright, we've got one more to go, I think. And I know right where it is. I know this music right here. Make yeah, there's some areas in Zelda games I always really like. Yeah, Gerudo Valley uh, and, and NECW. Gerudo Valley and Ocarina of Time was pretty cool. Alright, now we're going to the south side. South Fern Woods. We're alive here in the South Fern Woods. As Link gets the last artifact. Shut up, JR! 
think he's definitely gonna find all JR. What's he doing? Look, he's trying to sing. <laughs> this, this is the site of the legendary battles with the Skull Kid. Yeah. The battles are that's uh in the in the annals of time, in Ocarina of time. As Gorilla Monsoon would say, they are hanging from the trees. Yeah. Oh, shut up, Monsoon! You hang from the trees too, you gorilla. <laughs> Remember when the episode of Raw, December '93, Gorilla Monsoon pwned Bobby Heenan and kicked him out of the WWF? Yeah. I think Heenan was legitimately crying though. Yeah, I heard that he too. Because he was sad to leave. I heard that too. That was his. He he chose to have him go out like that because Gorilla Monsoon's his friend. I, the, I, I, I'm not ashamed to admit that when he was inducted into the Hall of Fame and he wished Monsoon was there, I, I started to cry. That, that was that was sad. Yeah, it was. You know Monsoon would have been the one to induct him. Oh, without a doubt. But who, who did induct Bobby Heenan that year? I forgot. I don't remember. Yeah, I, I gotta go back and look. It might be Mean Gene. That was the first Hall of Fame. Not the first Hall of Fame ever, but like... And in, in every year after uh, before WrestleMania, right? And I know Bobby Heenan, Sergeant Slaughter, Jesse Ventura, um, some others too. But uh, I was trying to remember who inducted him. I've been Mean Gene. I'm not sure. Finally, you got all the artifacts. Da, 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 da. Yeah. All right, now let's go talk to the gaming historian for probably the last time. And did you read his letter? No, but Swindog got handed the letter. What? I just got handed this letter here. It says, WAP! <laughs> I mean, one time uh, he, he had said in one of those old audio shows, uh, Melissa, you haven't posted a message in a while. Uh, Melissa's going to be m missing her teeth if she don't post a message. See? <laughs> All right, let's see if the spell works this time. He was inducted by Blackjack Lanza. Uh, I wonder why you think me Gene would be the one inducted, but whatever. Eh. You think Arn Anderson? Wop, 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 bam, boom. You think uh, Arn Anderson would have been the one to induct Ric Flair? But no, uh, Flair chose Triple H. But oh uh, well, whatever his choice. And what William Shatner of all people to induct uh, Jerry Lawler? Yeah, I, well, there is some history behind that, but I forgot exactly what. Yeah, because he was on Raw, like, once. Yeah, but I think the person they had in mind, I don't know, couldn't do it for whatever reason, or, or I don't you know. You could have, have someone from, like, the old Memphis territory do it, but they would not know who that person was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine Kevin Dunn and Jim Cornette doing this last play, and Cornette's playing, and then Kevin Dunn goes, You know what, Jim? You need to get good, kid. <laughs> you know what you need to get good at, mother? Is fixing those Bucky Beaver <laughs> teeth of yours before I reach across this table and beat the f out of you. I could watch that clip every day. And JR's in the commentary too, but he's the one quiet and not laughing because he knows Jim Cornette's for real. <laughs> but you Have you ever heard the, cl the yeah. clip of when Cor Cornette met up with Ed Ferrara? And said he would beat the crap out of He like spat in his eye in front of everyone. Yeah. Or Kevin Dunn said, You don't understand when I was a kid, kids made fun of my teeth and crying in front of him. <laughs> oh, Kevin. <laughs> you know what, Tibbs? I was trying to find you tiresome. <laughs> you know what I'm tired of? <laughs> No, Jeff would be Kevin Dunn. I'm sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and no, Je Jeff is Kevin Dunn. J-Man is Cornette. <laughs> and I'm JR, sitting there all awkward and quiet, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can be McMahon. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so we found, what was that, I guess the launching cannon that's going to take us to the sky? 
there, there's actually a way to glitch this part. Oh, really? Like, he has to leave in order to do this. And I think there's a way. I think it's if you save here and then load it, reload it, he won't leave the room. And Midna will not let you uh, transport this thing. So you kind of, like, lock yourself out of it. So what do you do to fix it? You got to start the game. Not the game over, but, like, um, obviously not the game, but the file over from where you last saved or, or what? I, It's never happened to me. And this is only, like, hearsay, what I've read. Have you seen it on YouTube or anywhere? Not myself, no. Because I wonder if Son of a Glitch knows about it, if it is true. It could depend on the version. I don't know. What, the molecules did not form right on the cannon and you can't get to the sky? You can't beat the game? You can't save Hyrule? <laughs> like, I know Skyward Sword has a big game-breaking bug in it. Game? It breaks... It messes up the game? Yeah, it, like, corrupts your save file so that the, the game can't progress. Well, that's messed up. Thankfully, I knew about it ahead of time, so I knew what to avoid. There's one thing I oh, forgot to do. Here we go. I forgot to do this to get the last skill. The last one. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Don't turn your back on the wolf pack. There can be only one. The other day I watched a series of, like, Sid, his, like, worst, like, the worst times he botched his lines. Freaking hysterical. Yeah, where he goes, let me start that over. Oh, we're live, pal. Oh, sorry. Anyway! <laughs> and the one with, uh, he's, he's with the Macho Man, he goes, Now, when you, when you, when you mess with this mind's man, this man's mind, excuse me. And then Kevin Ash, I don't have half the brain that you do! I tweeted that to Sid one time. I said, forget the haters, Sid. They don't have half the brain that you do. <laughs> he never responded, so I don't know if he knew to like it or hate it. Uh, the best thing he ever said is when he broke his leg. If you look real close, he goes, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Probably how tough he is. Ah, oh, dang it. Apparently, he didn't want to do that. They made him do that. Yeah, and it's like, man, how are you going to have someone... All right, he's not Mike Awesome. I mean, not every big man can... Can you know be aerial? <coughs> Whoa! Three sword. Wait, that's the last skill. Man, that's basic. Don't it I have that already? It should have been the hurricane spin. That's basic. I thought I had that the entire game. I maybe I'm just thinking of. A link to the past and or green of time because that man's a basic move. Like when you have full what you have uh you remember the spin move was you had that full magic or full hearts and a link to the past. I forgot, but that man that's nothing new. No, you didn't have to have full hearts to do the spin attack. You needed full hearts to do the sword beam. Okay, well the spin attack though, you you did it in other Zelda games. I thought you can also do it in here. I guess not, but man, I thought it'd be something you haven't seen before. I would have saved the mortal draw for last. Yeah. That's my favorite. Or well, was it really are these really in order though? Yeah, they they he always gives them to you in the same order. Oh, okay. Well yeah, then the mortal draw should have been last. Man, come on. Alright, so now let's take to the skies. As we play Polly for the GameCube. That's one of my favorite albums, Take to the Skies. Excuse me! Well, I kissed the Skyward Sword on the Wii. Coming soon. <laughs> you know, recently I heard that some people actually thought that that line, instead of excuse me while I kiss the sky, was excuse me while I kiss this guy. <laughs> well, okay. I, I can kind of understand that. But here's what is stupid. You know, you got another thing coming. People thought he was saying, 
you got another think coming. <laughs> what? That makes no sense. You got another think coming. It's 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 the title of the damn song. Yeah, like why would you? Th- that even sound right? But I made those dumb mistakes before too. Like, carry on my wayward son. Something something done. I thought it was carry on my wayward soul, and then something <laughs> done. And then my friend Heather goes, No, it's not a uh, blah 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 dole. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh well. I mean, all songs rhyme. Shut up. 300 rupees, you freaking cheat. Freaking Gomer yeah, Pa with the pot belly. Yeah, I'm trying to save belly. the kingdom here. Yeah, Get freaking a new shirt. Gomer Pa with the pot belly. Get out of here. Look at you. It's taking you three oh. days to do it. Yeah, those carpenters would have it done in four days. Oh, jeez, yeah. Remember the, the foreman? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Idiots got kidnapped by the Gerudos. Then when you set them free, they just prance out the room. Yeah. And like they're never going to get f- caught. Yeah. I'm free. I'm free. Like they're never going to get caught by the other Gerudos guarding the fortress. They never prance away like a sissy. One time, Venom 22, Ven- Venom 22 was running toward me like that. And I started busting out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we get to finally use this daggum thing. It must be yeah. real powerful to launch us. Into the sky realm. Whoa! Oh, it's Jeff. Jeff, what are you? D- take, take me too. Whoa! I didn't. I didn't invite you and your son to come here. Whoa! It's uh, the robot from a uh, Robocop here. It's it's Metal Gear. Oh yeah. Whoa! Whoa! We launched. Oh. It launched us out of the video. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we're gonna have to resume this, resume this, in part twenty-seven. So until then, God bless you. Resume, but I want it now. (laughs) I want to resume, zoom, zoom, and a boom, boom.